What's the best superpower for a mercenary? Super strength? Awesome. Invisibility? Cool. But you'd still step on a Lego. Our favorite fourth wall breaking anti-hero, Deadpool, makes a strong and very entertaining case for super regeneration. Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool the Merc with the Mouth, has perhaps the best healing factor in the superhero world. Even surpassing Wolverines, the ability stems from an experiment to combat his rapidly spreading cancer, allowing him to recover from nearly any injury, Ow. from bullet wounds oh. to decapitation. Yeah. Essentially, if you can dream up a way to maim him, he can recover from it. It's like having an undo button for lives more unfortunate events. Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god, I can't feel my legs! Oh, no, no, they're right here. So, how does it work? Regeneration is complex and difficult to understand scientifically. For instance, we still don't fully grasp how a salamander can regrow a limb while humans cannot. Meet the axolotl. Aww. Ah, they're so cute. The axolotl is a pedomorphic salamander, but it just happens to have super awesome superpowers. They are the only vertebrate that can regrow their limbs and many other body parts throughout their lifetime. In fact, the axolotl can regenerate almost anything, from their eyes to their spinal cord to even parts of their brain. These adorable little guys are amazing. I want 50 of them. Axolotls regenerate limbs by rapidly closing the wound and reverting cells to a less specialized state to form a blastema, which eventually grows into a new limb. In contrast, Humans form a scab and scar tissue instead of a blastema, preventing limb regrowth. The whole process usually lasts around two months, and then the salamander has a fully regenerated limb, perfect for a high five. However, Deadpool's situation is unique because his healing factor is tied to his disease. Cancer, despite being a devastating illness, might actually be the key to his powers. We haven't cured cancer yet because it isn't a single disease, but many, each affecting the body in different ways. Even within a single tumor, the cells can be genetically distinct. Generally, cancer becomes deadly when certain cells grow uncontrollably, forming masses that interfere with normal bodily functions until the body can no longer sustain itself. However, your cells aren't defenseless. Every cell in your body works to prevent tumors from forming. Cancer typically begins when two groups of genes, oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes, are involved. In Deadpool's case, his cancer and the subsequent experiment resulted in a healing factor that allows him to recover from nearly any injury, making super regeneration a top-tier superpower. There's another link between Deadpool and the axolotl. The axolotl is incredibly cancer resistant, far more than mammals. Its tumor suppressor genes likely play a key role, similar to how Deadpool's genes manage his cancer. By studying these genes, we might one day enable human regeneration. But for now, nature already has its own Deadpool. Oh, hello. Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine. Wait! Let's go! Let's go. Subscribe!